guys and dolls welcome back to my channel if you are new here how you doing okay guys i'm gonna get right into it um didn't know what to call this video but this is some me trying some new Farah product so this is like a little bit of a review slash try on slash i'm in quarantine and um I need to take my mind off of it. So this is what this video is for, to just bring you some normalcy in this time of unrest. And my heart goes out to you. I'm not gonna, you know, get into it because I know if you're coming to YouTube and you have clicked on this video, you wanna see what I'm doing. You wanna be entertained. You wanna take your mind off of it. But um, God bless all of you who are going through a hard time. I know, I acknowledge it. And I'm just trying to, you know, be normal. I think the more normal we can try to be for those of us who are in a little bit better of a situation, you're going about your day and you're trying to feel as content as you can. I think that's the best thing that all of us can do right now. But yes, I am here with some new fur products. So let's, let's, let's get started. I have some of my makeup on right now. Before we start, please comment, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, talk to me, get your mind off of this whole thing. Uh, let's talk about some Farrah products so what do i have on right now right now i do have my foundation on i have my concealer and i have set my concealer i am looking um a little shiny so i will be setting i've got some new products i'm just going to go through the list of products that i have the products that i do have on are in my previous farah video which y'all I think y'all like that video, so um, I'll, I'll leave it attached so you can see the products that I'm not going to be showing you or how I use them in this video. You can go to the previous video and see me use them there. But let's see, what am I using from Farrah today? I'm using primer, foundation, I've got a new powder, I've got the new contour and highlight, well, new to me. I have a new eyeshadow color, I am using a brow product, I have it on, on this brow. Um, I'm using an eyeliner, a lip liner, the lip liner is new, and I have got a new color of lipstick. So, let's get going. Alright, so like I said, I have my foundation, I have my concealer, and unfortunately, the products, for some reason, the powder is just not not working well on my under eye so i did have to use a focular powder i just wanted to be transparent and clear this is another um makeup brand very 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 inexpensive so that's what i set my under eye with but i'm gonna go ahead since i have my foundation on i'm going to do my other brow so i don't know if you can see the difference now i always have a hard time with brow products i've never ever 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 used this before this is the farah tattoo brow ink pen so let's let me show you the farrah tattoo brow ink pen ink whoa ink pan and it's in the color brown they didn't have a specific color written on the actual tube here so i don't know what the actual color is uh this is what it looks like swatched on skin and it is pretty much has some staying power unless i'm rubbing it off I don't think it, eh, maybe it doesn't have such dramatic staining power as I thought it did, but I am rubbing my hand and, you know, most of it is staying on there, but it is brown, and this is what the little applicator looks like, it's that little three-pronger, kind of looks like an Atlantean weapon of some kind, but, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do my wrap brow, and, right, this is my last, yeah, yes. So as you can see, I don't know if you can really see the difference in the brow. It's not that big of a difference, but it is kind of filled in. It's not the greatest, but um, here, I'm going to show you how this, how this works. So I guess I should zoom, zoom you in. I'll, I'll just a little bit. And forgive, forgive my shine. Um, I have my foundation on, which is very dewy. The fair foundation is very very dewy so let us begin i'll give you my um what i think about all these products of course i think okay so i don't know if i just got a defective brow pencil I don't know but as you can see it's not really filling in my brow and 
it's just I don't know it seems to be all the all the juice is on the side so I can't really get the little prongs to lay down color so that's as good as it gonna get for the brow and I can't I can't speak clearly today I don't know what's going on but I'm gonna go ahead and finish my brow with this pencil this is a jet black oh geez it's so old anyway it's a cool gray tone pencil that I use to kind of fill in it's not fun fair, so it doesn't matter. I'm just going to finish my brow real quick. Not too happy with the brows right now, but we we're going we're gonna to make this work for the video. I don't know why I'm talking so weird. Okay, so at least my brows look decent. Okay, so let's go to the next product. Uh, let's see. Let's do the eyes. Let's go ahead and do the eyes. I'm going to take my Farrah concealer and there it is. And this is in the color light. So it's 101 in light. I'm going to go ahead and um, conceal the eyelid and the colors of eyeshadow I'm going to be using. One is like a metallic, one's a matte. So let's see the metallic one. You've seen these before. This is olive green 110 and poly, which is 203. I'm going to set the eyelid with the poly. And then this is the new fair eyeshadow. This is in emerald. This is a shimmer pigment eyeshadow and it is in the color emerald. I don't know if you can see the color. It comes in this cute little tub. Uh, I don't really know. I've never bought the shimmer eyeshadow before so I don't know if this is the way it's supposed to look but when I tried it before it, it it worked just fine so let's go ahead and do the eye and I think I don't know if your zoom's in enough I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit more and let's let's do this eye <music> So I do have a lot of fall out, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and finish my eye. This is basically all I'm going to do. I've already got like my sleek, kind of a cat smoky eye look. That's what I was going for because I have limited um, eyeshadow products for Farrah. So let me zoom you out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean up all the fallout. It's really not that bad. So those of you who freak out over fallout, fallout don't i'm just gonna wipe this away if i have to put a little bit more foundation i will it's not that big a deal so don't flip out i really do love the intensity of the color but yeah let me finish let me just finish my eyes up and um i will return well okay now we're recording i'm back and i have finished up my eyes i'll give you all of my tips and tricks or not tips and tricks but what i think of the products at the end of the video all I can say right now is that, um, yeah, I should have done my, my eyes first, but let us continue. Uh, the eyes are done. As you know, I wasn't using mascara, uh, the Farrah mascara. I used Great Lash and uh, the Voluminous Carbon Black for the mascara, just in case you're wondering. And to accentuate, because I don't have falsies, yes, I hate strip lashes, and I know, I know a lot of you guys love lashes, but I just, I... My allergies are acting up, so I really, I couldn't deal with strip lashes right now, but I did, I do have a trick that I do to, you know, make the lashes look a little thicker, a little bit more fluffy on camera. Uh, I use the Farrah liner, and this I show in depth in the video I'm going to attach, my previous Farrah video. Uh, I used it to line, this is very nice, oh, so nice, that point, that little point right there lets you get all the way down into the corner of your eye, and I kind of just uh, outlined the base of the top of my eye and then kind of flicked it out 
towards the end to give the lashes a little bit of fullness and the illusion that you know my eyelashes are a lot bigger than they are so love the fair liner okay so for the next product i did a little bit of contouring already but let us use the Farrah Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo. This is the packaging. It comes in and really this is a bronzer. It's not really like a sculptor. I try to keep my liquids together, but we're going to do this. I'm going to apply a shadow after the fact. I don't know how how this is going to work, but um, yeah. So this is in 01 and uh, again this is the Farrah highlight and uh sculptor but for me it's kind of like a bronzer i do not like sculpting with, with warm colors so like you can see i have a little bit of my uh contour already done especially my nose contour so yeah so okay let's take it out there's not much product but then again you know i'm not gonna go crazy on the bronzer Ooh, this is very dark I don't know what to do. Okay, hold on. Uh, can I take this off? Whoa! Okay, no. Hold on. Oh wow, I still have fallout all over my face. It's okay. I just took off like a lot of my foundation. Anyway, we're going to put some more product on so it doesn't matter. Alright, so I guess I will kind of use this as a sculpting product because it's really dark so all right i'm gonna use it like how i would sculpt my face like a brightener it's not in your face it's very kind of natural I'm gonna use my beauty blender over this to kind of lighten my bronzer slash sculpting that I did here and it is a very nice color the zero one works if you're my complexion the zero one will work really nice for you okay so that's did and let's see I have a new highlighter Ooh. The new highlighter is another So Glow. It's for, I love luminous, glowy skin, so it's a, it's a cream highlighter, and I'm older, so creams are the best. Uh, this color is it's an N105 in amber. Um, once again, I had issues picking the color. I didn't know how to pick this color. The last time it was too pink and too bright. I'm getting it out of the package. Oh, sorry. This is what the package looks like. And let's get it out. All right, yep, it's in amber. This is a Zekala. And it is very creamy. Ooh. So I did try this already. This is gonna be, I'm gonna use this not so much as a highlighter, but as a creamy blush. Uh, let, let's see how it goes, because when I put it on, it, it it's a little lighter than I expected, but I don't know. Let, let, let's see. Okay, so it's giving me a bit of color. It is kind of blending into the contour, so I'm going to swatch my hand so that you can see it on a lighter surface. So this is the highlighter. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's creamy. I like the color it you know I think it looks good it is really blending in with my contour color so you can't really see it but it just gives me the slightest bit of color as far as having some cheek color so it's not so much a highlighter as it is a dewy for me a dewy a cream um, blush I guess for lack of a better description Okay, so that's done. I'm going to go ahead and set the whole face, and I have a Farrah Sheer Matte Powder, and this is in the color 202 Natural Beige. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush, and I'm just going to like set uh, the parts of my face that I want to be a little bit more matte, because this is a very dewy kind of a look I got going on, so I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and just do that real quick. Ok, 
Okay, so I've set everything. And now for the lips. So, let's go in. This is the Farrah Glide On Gel Eyeliner. It's supposed to be like a 12 hour stay. I don't know about that, but this is in the color Brown 107. This is the packaging. Do, 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 do. That's how it comes. And let's get this sucker out. And this is what the liner looks like. So, let me just show you. Oh, it's got plastic. Wow. Well, I guess that's good. It wasn't used by anyone. Oh, my Lord. All right. I, I don't have time. So, okay. So, here is the point. This is an eyeliner, so you can use it on your eyes. But, you know me. I use eyeliners as lip liners. So... I am going to line my lips and we are going to use the new lip color I have here number 810 in Taylor so this is the new lip color I have so let's get the lips done some kind of a lip gloss this is just a very very matte lip and I love matte lips but I think that this whole thing will look a lot better if I used a lip gloss so I'm going to use no it's not from Farrah um, I'm going to use the Oriza oh lord I don't know this is the lip gloss that I'm going to be putting on top of the lipstick so sorry guys I don't have a lip gloss from Okay guys, so this is my makeup look using all the new Farrah products that I just showed you. Uh, okay, so critique time. I really, 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 I really like Farrah. Their products are, are pretty good for being so inexpensive. I am shocked at the Farrah um, coverage counter and highlight stick. The color was very nice. and. I wouldn't say this is really a highlighter. I guess if you like that area to be really bright, it's a brightener. So it's like a contour and a brightener. Not so much a highlighter, but a little. This is small, but a, ooh, the tiniest bit goes the longest way. So um, this gets a thumbs up. I will definitely be using this as a bronzer because it's very flattering to my skin tone. So bronzer and highlighter, I would throw this in my bag if I was traveling. Or even for work because it's so small I love I love the size of it now you know me with highlighters I really don't like them all that much but the so glow is perfect for me in this instance as a blush slash luminous product to make my skin look like it's lit from within because I really do up through here look like I'm lit from within and it just gave the slightest bit of color so those of you who do not like blush and you're just looking for a tiny tiny bit of maybe glow or a tiny bit of color and you're older and you're more mature and you need some moisture I think you would like the so glow I like it thumbs up for the so glow the <laughs> lip liner it is very uh, new so I had all you know the lip line kind of came out wonky because it's so new but it glided on and it the color was very nice this is the brown that I definitely will would use and anyway it's an eyeliner it's really not a lip liner but I like that I can use it on my eye or on my lips so very inexpensive love the color thumbs up oh of course the lipsticks you know I'm a fan of the lipsticks this is Taylor which is a perfect your lip color but better and I don't care what complexion you are oh my god it's a beautiful color I love it so this definitely gets a thumbs up they had a thumb up thumbs up from me before so and the fact that I use only three colors on my eyes and I was able to do this I think um, I'm very proud of myself but yes the new metallic eyeshadow color that I, I, I have here it's it's pretty like 
I, I made a look with it. I'll probably use it again if I want this color green. I don't have a metallic color in this particular uh, color. Uh, but a lot of fallout. It's kind of difficult to use. I did use it dry. So maybe if I used it wet, that would be a completely different story. So I would say use it wet. Um, use it as, you can use it as an eyeliner. You can use it as a shadow. Has a lot of fallout. Don't do like me. Do your eyes first if you're using any of these metallic shades. It's pretty. I mean, I used a concealer. I didn't even use a primer. And the color is true to what it is in the pot. So, I mean, it has a thumbs up for me, even though it was a messy product. Like I said, I still have some fallout on my face. But I don't know, it doesn't bother me as much as it does for other people, I guess, because, look, look I just put more color on my face. How, how, how nice. Anyway, whatever. Um... I don't know, the fallout doesn't bother me as much. I can just, you know, wipe that off, go over it with some concealer or just some more foundation. So, yeah, that's great. I just, I can't believe I just put more color on, <laughs> on my face from the shadow. Anyway, so that shadow does get my my approval because it, it looks really good on. Uh, I think, oh, the brow, the brow product. Ooh, girl, no. Sorry, Farah, but I will not be using this again. The color is on the side of this little thing here, of the applicator, not on the tips where it should be. You, you know what I mean? Like, look, it's, is it coming out? It's not really even coming out. You see that? It's, you have to really work with it and, and just push it really hard. Yeah, color did come out, but I don't know. This was just really hard for me to use, and it is a pretty color. But as you, you, I had to use the pencil to finish it up. So if you have to use multiple products for something to work, I don't know. I, I, I definitely w wouldn't recommend buying it. Um, if you have good brows anyway, my eyes are, my brows are not the greatest. If you have really good brows, really thick, really fluffy, then maybe something like this would be perfect for you. You just filling in a little bit, done. But not, not, not for me. Sorry, Farah. I'll probably use this up. Or use it as a touch-up. This will go on my purse and, you know, at work. If I wipe half my brow off, I think I'll, I'll go for this. Um, and it's light and it's small. But, yeah, no. This gets a thumbs down from me. And I think those are all the products. Let me, let me, let me just verify. Uh, the powder. Oh, the powder. That's right, the powder. The powder, it's okay. I mean, you know, nothing, nothing special. Is it the job of kind of toning down the shine and the glow that I had to my my skin. I don't know. I don't see that it did anything extra phenomenal. It is very matte. So you can see it on my finger there. I will swatch it. Let's see. I should have swatched it before for you, but there it is. There's the swatch of the powder. Um, it is a very matte powder. And if you like matte, if you have really oily skin, this may be something that you'll like. Am I going to gravitate towards it? Probably not. But when I use my Ferro products, I will definitely be using my powder. Um, doesn't get a thumbs up, doesn't get a thumbs down. It's, it's just a powder, you know. And for those of you who have really good skin and all you need is a little bit of powder, lucky you, and you can run out, it would be something worth trying because, you know, it's so inexpensive, so... Uh, yeah, I don't have anything good or bad to say about that, but, uh, the lip liner, which, you know how I feel about that, my brow product, eyeshadow, contour, and highlight, and the powder. Okay, those are all the new products. Uh, mostly, all these new pro newer products get a thumbs up for me, except for the brow. But, yeah, this, this is my look. Let me zoom you in, please. Um, you know what, I can I cannot zoom y'all in with this, with this full on my face. Okay, let me get let me let me try to get the spots off with my dirty ass tissue. Okay, and then I will. I think I'm just making this worse. I, I really. Oh my lord. Okay. All right. Well, let's just just make believe I ain't got no fallout. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna zoom you in just so you can see my face a little bit closer. I'll show you the better side. <laughs> But this is three eyeshadows, a bit of black eyeliner, some glow, lips, liner, highlighter, and um, a blushy glow. 
but yeah so hopefully if you like Farrah or you have Farrah products and you uh, think that or you don't like them very much or you wanted to give them a second thought hopefully this video helped you in doing that okay guys this is the end of my video I'm done I'm a little embarrassed I got I left all the fallout on my face or most of it but um, overall I think that I did a pretty a pretty good job I hope you do too guys take very good care of yourselves remember to wash your hands stay safe and hopefully the next time I see you all of this quarantine business will be done um, God bless and I'll see you in my next video